You're live. Tell me when I'm on. You're live. <laughs> to go to work i just i just have a great show up uh, uh, you know uh going for you tonight but i have to who is this oh wait a minute now i got I, here we go there we go i'm i'm back in the game i'm in the game gotta set this up bailey christina curry carla i gotta set this up to make sure that this works for me. I don't know. I'm I'm winging it tonight, man. I'm winging it tonight. Here, g give me back in the game. We hear you kind of. Here we go. just. Anyway, I got a special guest for you tonight, Miss Brielle Nicholson. Give it up for N N Neil. Brielle Nicholson. She is from uh, Ruffalo's Hair Studio, and she tonight's conversation I think is going to be big time. Uh, big time good time because uh, what we're going to have is um, I'm getting all my shit together here. Look at this. I'm all over the board tonight. Slipping away. Here we go. Uh, at any rate, uh, I don't know. I need to get this to stand up here if she can. There we go. Kevin, good to see you. Anyway, Briella, her story is really, really different because she graduated uh, about a year and a half ago, a level five, uh, T Spa Kenosha, and uh, level five. Those of you that are following Randy, um, you know darn well that level five is like off the charts for students. They rarely get to level four. So she is a ninja, and I wanted her on the program tonight. Uh, one of the things that I think she earns to write is in 2005 months into. Uh, uh, 2000, uh, actually 15, she uh, was uh, just around 10 grand, and last year, her first full year behind the chair, she cracked $50,000. I mean, that's $50,000 in her first full year, that's, that's big time. Right, uh, right, Kelly and Tamara, isn't that big time? Stevie, what do you think about uh, about Nicole? Now, let me give you uh, give you some of her stats. She's 26. She's in the salon right now, Lori, and she's a level five at uh, Ruffalo's. As I said, graduated a um, level five from T Spa. She uh, 13 grand first year, 50 thousand, and in that first year, I was like five months in. Uh, in her uh, 2016, 50000 that includes gratuity. And look at the referrals off the freaking chart, Rand Man. Um, is that 
50 referrals, rebooking 65%. RTS, those of you that are new to us, RTS is retail to service, which means she's teaching her guests how to recreate the look every day uh, when they go back home uh, based on what she's uh, teaching them and what she's using. Her uh, average ticket is about $70. Her woman's haircut runs at about 35 so you can see it's twice as much there. Steve, yeah, she is the bomb. She's the bomb big time, pal. And um, it, not only is she the bomb, but uh, what's really cool is that she's got 100% of her guests on, uh, on Facebook. And so what I wanted to do tonight is I wanted to see uh, if I could actually get, uh, bring you to her page so that you can see her page. But I, want, I need to just get this set up so I don't have to, I, I want to talk to you uh, while I'm talking to her. But I need to get my camera to, 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 uh, to stay put. Having all kinds of issues tonight, but we'll figure it out. Anyway, uh, let me bring you to, she's got two Facebook pages. One's a friend page that Brielle started when she was in beauty school because uh, th she, that she did what she knew. And, um, and she, so she's using a Facebook friend page. I'm going to take you to it now. Uh, when she was in beauty school, and now even was using it up until the time uh, that she, that she, um, where is it? Here it is. So this is her Facebook friend page, and she st actually began that page, I think 2015, when she started at T-Spa Kenosha. Friend page, but she was using it for guests only. I want you to hear that now, Joe. Uh, you, you look at me. I am looking at you, Joe Calavito. Randy, she, she, she's using a Facebook friend page for guests only because that's all she knew. When she, when she graduates from T-SPA, a level five, she takes that same page with her and she continues to use it. I mean, even this day, look at that here. It's a slow-mo video that you see here. Um, you also see um, uh, that she's using, you know, I mean, look at the pics that she's taking. It's just extraordinary before and afters. Now, what else that she has going, she go, she comes to the symposium, right? And as she comes to uh, symposium, she um, listens to, goes to my class and, um, and, and, and gets this information about a business page. So Brielle goes home, starts this business page, starts getting all of her guests off the business page, starts boosting the business page. Michael, why are you telling this? Because that get, got her 150 referrals uh, in the last several months. So she is off the freaking charts when it comes to this. Now, I thought I would just now, and tonight, she doesn't use an Instagram page, which tells us that she's, there's more than, more than one way to get it done. Those of you that are a little bit uh, intimidated to being Instagrammer, follow Brielle. She's using Facebook business page. She's boosting it, guests only. She even has a, a, biz, a Facebook friend page, but uh, her guests only. And between those two, she's killing it behind the chair. Now, what again, if you're joining us, what I love about a business page, Paula, is that uh, I can hit the call now button and look what's happening. The, I got a call up uh, for the number. If I press this button, which I will, I'm going to see if I can, how close I can get um, uh, to it so that you can actually see what we got going on. Let me see. Um, it should be connecting here, so give it a second. There you go. Can you hear that? Can you hear it? Now somebody will be answering the phone. Bring in to a new look at our flow here today. This is Alex speaking. How can uh, I help you? Alex, Michael, Cole, I'm running a little bit behind tonight, but I wanted to get you on the phone. I hit Brielle's Facebook business page so they could see that I could call you directly from her business page and book an appointment. Uh, Alex, tell the world that I'm not lying. Oh, no, she's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Alex. I'm going to go call Brielle now because I want her to, to uh, share her story with their friends. So thanks for uh, letting me give you a call tonight. Yeah, of course. Good night. All right, see you later. All right, very cool, huh? Now, I, what I thought I would do is I'm going to call Brielle and get her on FaceTime uh, because I want her to talk about um, I want her to talk about her story. Let me get, Let me just get it here. And uh, it, as, as she's coming on, um, here's the questions I want to ask. Let me see. Here we go. There we go. Nice. Hi, Michael. 
Hi, Brielle. I was running a little bit of technical difficulty tonight. Thanks for being patient with me. I, I got it figured out. We're improvising a little bit, but I got a whole bunch of people on that want to want your story. You ready to go to work? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> All right. For starters, uh, you, your your first uh, your your first best practice that you talk about all the time is when you started in beauty school. Uh, you started with your guest, uh, your your uh, a Facebook page that was just for your guests. Tell tell our viewers how that worked for you and how wh what that led to. Well, since I was new in the area, I didn't want to add a bunch of random people that I didn't know to be connected with my friends and family. So what I did is I made a completely different Facebook for my pictures and trying to get people in my chair. So I typed in the um, town of Kenosha that I live in, and I just added a bunch of people from Kenosha that I had no idea who they were just so that I could try to get people to sit in my chair. So you just came and just started adding people to it, and then what happened as a result of that? Well, I started getting people in my chair. It didn't happen right away. It took me a while, especially being in beauty school. Not a random person really doesn't want to go to a beauty school because they don't know, you know, who to trust, but... I um, started using the clients in my chair in school, and I started posting their pictures every single time that I did their hair. And then people started noticing that um, my work, and they did end up trusting me to sit in my chair. Nice. And then that got you, I think when we looked at on your uh, friend page, you had like, what was it, 1,200 and some odd guests that uh, yeah. were, yeah, 1,233 of her guests uh, since beauty school is on her Facebook friend page for guests only. And then you came to symposium, sat in my class, and get, went home and, and flipped it to a business page. Tell them about that experience and, and what you did with it. Yeah, so um, after Vegas, I wanted to work on a business page um, that Michael has been posting a lot about on, and I... I just fell in love with the boosting thing, the it, where it boosts, you know, around you, that it's just so awesome that you can try to target an age and, like, what you're looking for to get in your chair. So, I'm working on, I'm still working on trying to get more people to follow my page and like it, and especially my guests, so they know they can just use my page to call the salon or, you know, try to get back to me that way. Nice, yeah. And as a result of that, I think the combination of those those two best practices is what really it continues to pour nitroglycerin on your referral bonfire. I think you're running at like 150 referrals in the last 12 months. Yes, sir. Now, the other thing I wanted you to talk about tonight, Brielle, was you, you've got another best practice, and that is uh, how you're using social media to fill openings on your book. I mean, you do you take uh, guest planning to a whole new level. Talk about that. So, mostly, like, I still do sometimes if I have an opening, you know, that day I try to book it so I'm not sitting there or trying to figure out something else, but I try to plan it ahead because I know a lot of people in my chair have kids, they have jobs, so if they can at least, like, have a couple of days to plan to find a babysitter or to, you know, use their vacation day as a spa day, um, that's what I try to do so they have time to plan. So when you do that, just off the top of your head, and, and you're looking out, using your planner, you look out a few days, you see the openings, you post them on your page. On a typical week, how many openings would you say would get filled by clients because they'll, they'll see one of your posts? Um, I would say between 80 and 90 percent. Someone always grabs it. All right, so so you're saying that 80 to 90 percent of your openings will get filled because you're doing that on your uh, Facebook page, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, I hope that the guests, are, are, are people that are watching, I mean, that's freaking huge because that would win the Academy Award for the the most intelligent thing to do with your downtime. I mean, you're using your planner in a whole different way. 
Definitely. Now, <laughs> last but not least, and then I want to let you go, and that is your Brielle's third best practice is she's got, she's a, a goal setter on steroids, and I want you to talk about in your monthly one on ones when you're with your coach how you look at your numbers and you set a goal and you got a whole philosophy about that. Well, mostly like starting off as well as. Like, if I feel like, let's say I'm shooting for level two numbers, I feel like if I go ahead and start shooting for level three numbers, that that gets me more ahead because if I do end up failing hitting three number, you know, level three numbers, then I'm still hitting those level two numbers and getting prepared for the next level. That way I'm still trying to keep up and be ahead. I think um, setting personal goals, not even just, you know, your level numbers, but like personal goals is huge just so you feel like you're, you know, succeeding within yourself plus your clientele and all your numbers. Yeah, I mean, as I was listening to you, you it sounds like between you and your coach, you're really taking much greater advantage of the potential of your monthly one-on-ones by you know you you look at your information you 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 see how far you are away from hitting a particular target you set a goal but the biggie is Brielle is she takes perseverance to a whole new level I mean you don't stop until you hit it you're right you're right all right. Well, listen, um, uh, I want to uh, thank you for coming on tonight, that this was extraordinary. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you go, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover the points just in case the audience mix, missed it. And I want to tell the audience that you promised to come back on our new series of uh, <laughs> Above and Beyond the Top. Bri- yes, I'm so excited. All right, so I think we're, you and I are going to have that conversation. Wait until you see what her story is about how she's kept Top 20, Bottom 80 alive and well in her life and how it serves us today. But I don't want to get into that tonight because I don't want to give it away. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank, give it up for Brielle one more time. Thank you. Give it up. It's an honor. All right. We'll see you later. Thanks a okay. lot, Brie. Bye. Bye. Isn't she amazing? She is just absolutely amazing. And what she said was so crucial that at the I, I, I want to go through it again. Her first best practice was, and this was all organic. I mean, she was just doing the best she could. So when she was in cosmetology school, she just intuitively said, I, I've got a friend page, but I don't want my guests on it. So she just she did the best she could. She created another guest page, but, a uh, friend page, but it was just for guest only, right, Devin? And and she she now you know what is it? Eighteen months later, that friend guest page has got um, twelve hundred and thirty three people on it, and they're they're pr- primarily her friends, uh, the, the the guests, and and then a lot of the people that are wired into the guest network. I mean, if you do the Facebook analytics, what is it for every one person on your page? There's 330 friends that are on their page. So there's there's just a she's all of those people, 1,233 of them are all qualified uh, friends because they're her guests. Now, what she did because she came to the class, she. Um, the class I did at Vegas is that she went and said, oh my God, I have to start a business page and I need to start boosting my business page. So she began getting as many of her guests as she could on her business page. So now she's got guests on her business page. She's got guests on her friend, uh, guest friend page only. And she, she's posting both because she didn't know, but she's getting 150 referrals. She's getting a big boom boom right in that. Shannon, are you seeing? this this is amazing Sheila Nicole now her the other best practice that uh, that she's doing is she's using her guest planner for looking at today tomorrow the next day the entire week she's counting the number of openings that she has for the week and she's using her guest only friend page and her business page she's boosting the business page and she claims that she's filling 80 to 90 percent of those openings i want you to hear that because that's nothing sure i mean you talked about big boom boom 
So that was huge. And then last but not least, she, she talked about how she's getting more benefit out of her monthly one-on-ones by getting very, very specific in her goal setting. I think that's why she's at level four, 18 months out of cosmetology school. So to me, she's extraordinary. Now, I don't want to take any more time tonight. It was just an extraordinary interview. But if you are new to us, and first of all, welcome. This continues to grow because of L'Oreal Professional Products Division, Summit Salon Business Center, Salon Centric State RDA. I'm going to be in their uh, 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 state's uh, uh, market this weekend in uh, Tulsa, and also Joplin. Um, but if you're new to us, uh, what I want you to do is go to summitsalon.com. If you hit slash uh, MC Live, you'll see all of the previously recorded episodes tonight what was it what this this was our uh, 50 what was it our 54th episode so we've got 50 from 53 down to the very first you can watch them all also if you get on summitsalon.com slash products I want you to pick up the planner that Bree was talking about. She uses the planner to plug uh, her open windows as well as her app, uh, too. So, uh, again, thanks, Bree, for, for coming. Now, next week... Um Instead of doing uh, a, a uh, In Search of Awesome, what I'm going to do is I'm launching a brand new series because we're working on the fourth and final masterpiece. We call it Above and Beyond the Top, Discovering Awesome, and we're really going to take uh, those top 20 of top 20 graduates from all of the schools that use the over-the-top curriculum, and we're following them out one year, two years, five years, ten years, 12 years after they've graduated to see where they're at. And, we, and I've got about 20 of them in the bullpen now. Their stories are nothing short of amazing, and they refer to all the things that they learned in school that are still with them, and we're going to use those Facebook lives to not only show you what's possible, but we're going to bring those fees into the schools for all the new learners coming in to say, look, if you take this serious, if you don't screw around, and you take this to heart in your soul, you're going to make big boom boom. Hey, Jonathan, good to have you on tonight. Anyway, um, and my first uh, guest is going to be, I had him on a couple months ago or so, Blake Reed Evans. He is a top 20 graduate at the Summit Salon Academy in Tampa. He's been behind the chair, I think, since about 2013. Uh, Blake now, uh, inside of what is that, four years is well over $100,000 in W-2. That's what happens when you go to a school on the overtop curriculum and you're taking it to heart. He's um, he's a level 4A. Oh, I beg your pardon. He graduated in 2011. So what is he? got six years behind the chair and he's already over $100,000 a year. Um, 110 referrals last year. Rebooked 65% of them. 15% RTS and an average ticket that's over 150. I'm going to have him on the show next week to talk about uh, how uh, over the top, top 20, bottom 80, the 80-20 rule continues to change his life today. So good to have you. It was a great show. Uh, thank you for uh, putting up with my technical difficulty every now and then. That's what happens, but it was a wonderful show. Briella, thanks for coming on. You were nothing short of extraordinary. And uh, again, thanks PPD, L'Oreal, uh, Salon Centric, State and RDA. And thank you guys. I just love you and uh, all the things that you're doing. So I'm going to turn it off and uh, I'll, I'll see you uh, in a few.